The following program is a Town of Colony television production of the William K. Sanford Town Library. Welcome to Open Door on the Arts. My name is Joan Ash. Today we're going to be talking about the Theater Institute at Sage College over in Troy. We have with us the Executive Director, Michael Musial, and one of the actors, A.J. Joyner, who's going to be starring in the upcoming production of Oliver. So we're going to talk about the Institute and the uh, production. So welcome. Thanks for coming. Thank you for Thank having you very us. Much. Now, Michael, let me just start with... Um, the Theater Institute, you're not really an acting troupe doing plays, you're actually an academic department. We um, are. People can get a degree. So, so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. As a we offer two degrees, a musical theater degree and a theater degree, so a BS in musical theater and a BA in theater. Um, so students spend four years with us, or if they transfer, two years with us. And uh, So a primary tool of uh, learning are our productions that we do about five to six mm -hmm. productions a year. Um, and we do those for um, school groups, matinees. So we do, we see about uh, 10,000, 11,000 kids a year uh, coming through the house to see our productions. And the productions, um, the ones for the students are 10 in the morning, but there are some that the, you know. For yeah, we have public shows too on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. Can the public go to the 10 a.m. shows? They can. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have, <laughs> we have a lot of public coming to the 10 a.m. shows, actually. And then the musical, you, you can get a degree in th um, theater arts or musical theater. Theater is this? Um, I think theater has been increasing among younger people today. You um, have you seen that since? Uh, yes, uh, but it, when the economy went down, we actually sort of dipped in and ran uh, along with it because people were concerned about jobs oh, yeah. and money and the usual, the usual sort of thing. So, uh, but we see, it seems to be coming back now that the economy is back okay. a little. And um, AJ, mm -hmm. you are. A, what did you say? You told me before you were a senior. I'm a senior. Yep. So you chose. Why did you choose? the Sage Theater for your um, theater training? Um, well, uh, I visit a lot of colleges. I applied to a couple of, a lot of colleges. Um, and uh, I came to this one and it fe I, I liked the atmosphere a lot more mm -hmm. than the rest because uh, it's a small program so there's a lot more one-on-one -on -one attention and there's a lot more opportunities um, to uh, do not only acting on stage, but also to participate backstage and to learn a whole a whole set of skills that wouldn't necessarily be um, available at most other programs. Okay. So, and Michael, for a student that would go there to get a degree, they're not just learning acting and see the oh, whole. No, 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 I mean, no. we got well, every. AJ does a lot of makeup and wig mm -hmm. work. Okay. Uh, for us, we've had students go on for uh, costume design at Yale. We've had two students go on to Yale for costume, okay. or one costume and one stage management. So. And all the technical, you have classes and all the technical. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. And how was the? You started. The institute was established in 2011. Uh huh. So, at 20. This is 2019. How is it? Is it? Healthy? Is it? Is it growing? Is it? It's uh, it's holding its own. I okay. would say. Mm -hmm. So how I would say it's not uh, it's not dying. <laughs> okay. So one of the things you said you do, you do about five performances a year. So upcoming in I have it here somewhere, December fourth to the fifteenth, you're doing Oliver, one of the all time great musicals, in my <laughs> humble opinion, as they say. So why don't you, Michael and AJ, you're gonna be playing Fagin. Why did you choose? Uh, this one you got. You need a cast of thousands in this one, don't you? You do. You need a big <laughs> cast. I, I, um, we have a tradition of uh, using uh, outside community children, and uh, we had been doing that. And then we sort of pulled back from that a little mm -hmm. bit. I thought, oh, I think we should sort of engage the community again a little bit more. Okay. And so, uh, we have about fifteen. Um, 16 kids from the outside from various schools coming to uh, to work with us and uh, they're thrilled and we're thrilled to have them. Okay, then one thing about Oliver, almost every song is really good. It's a great, I mean I just, I'm enthusiastic It's all good about songs, it. it's, it's true, really they good. are all good songs. So um, AJ, you are younger than both Michael and I. <laughs> yes. <laughs> did you know of this play? Were you? Did you ever hear it? I um. It's always been something that's been talked about. Around, <laughs> like I've, I've heard it a bunch of times, but I never had the opportunity to see it, and I never watched it online um, or anything. So uh, when we when I heard that this show was um, 
when we found out what the season was going to be last uh, last semester, okay. I decided to watch it, and I fell in love with it. Did it was amazing. You watched the movie, Bert. The I watched the movie. I watched the stage okay. production. And, and I, I tried to get a couple of different. Oh, okay. Are there film? I didn't. Are there some film productions? I didn't. Uh, or just on YouTube. YouTube. Oh, I can find stuff on YouTube. So, <laughs> had you heard? Um, any of the songs before the cast album? Or? Um, I, I heard. Uh, well, food, glorious food. Yes, uh, that, that's uh, heard that because of Ice Age, the movie. <laughs> um, oh, you're making me feel so old. I know, I know. <laughs> um, and I, I, I was familiar with um, Pick a Pocket. Uh, yeah. And, oh, okay. Um, so I came into it knowing uh, those two were just about it, though. Okay. Um, but after listening to the music, I just played it on repeat. It was a now, lot I of like, great music. Michael might know this. The original cast album, I think, is one of the all-time best-selling Broadway cast albums, isn't it? Or do you know that? Um, I don't know that. I'm pretty sure. I, I suspect it is. I, okay. I certainly know that the, the kid who played Dodger went on to do H.R. Puff and stuff oh, okay. in the 60s. And I think the original Dodger, you, Michael will not know, or A.J. will not know <laughs> this, was one of the monkeys. Uh, played Davy Jones. Oh, uh, he was he was a replacement. Oh, he was a replacement. Okay. Yes, but the, he was the, the the maybe it's the kid from the movie went on to play H.R. Prop and stuff or something. Okay, but, but that uh, yeah, he was a replacement. Okay. Davy Jones was a replacement. AJ's, I know. I know the monkeys. I know. <laughs> so um, AJ, let me ask you this: You're playing Fagin. This mm -hmm. is like the, there's great characters in this play. You got. A great villain, Bill Sykes. You got the tragic love story, him and Nancy. How are you? I don't know. Are you young enough? How are you approaching playing this part? <laughs> right. Well, I'm certainly not trying to come from a uh, from an older uh, older man's perspective okay. because I, I just can't relate to that. Um, so I don't want I don't want to portray anything false on stage. So I'm just trying to um, <laughs> come about different ways of uh, through my lens on how to approach a character with such 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 depth. He has yeah. such depth. Um, but um, the way I the way I've been thinking about it, um, uh, he kind of reminds me of of uh, Peter Pan in a sense. Uh, he, he has this kind of um, this sense, and he, he 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 in the way I, the way I try to play, he uh, he he doesn't seem very. Um, um, mature. He he doesn't. He seems very. Uh, he's been hold, held back a lot. I, I think, and okay. I and I think he seems very lost. Um, so I've been trying to come up, come at it come at it with a sense of that type of um, uh, inability to, um, to 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 mature in this 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 terrible uh, okay. setting so that he's he like around. Captain Hook and the Lost Boys, kind of. A little, si yeah, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, I've been trying. I've been trying to play with it, so I don't. Yeah, again, so I don't play a, a yeah. false uh, characterization of an old man, which I just am not. <laughs> and, and Michael, you're directing. Mm -hmm. Is that when you're having all students, and obviously Fagan is you know, in any play you do. How how do you? Is that hard to do to? Uh, yeah, sometimes it is. It depends on the, the real age. I mean, I don't think of Fagan as a, a particularly uh, old, old man. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that um, we can find, um, I mean, I, th I think of Fagan as a survivor, and anybody can be a yeah. survivor. Mm -hmm. And I think that he reads situations real well and is actually always a step ahead of himself yeah. a little bit. So he knows trouble's coming and he gets out of the way. There's a, a very uh, combative scene between Nancy and mm -hmm. Bill Sykes at one moment and he's trying to diffuse the situation because right. he knows right. what could happen. Um, so he knows, he's, he's well aware of you know the options on the road. I always think, okay. and so that's sort of where we go for, as opposed to saying, "Well, you know, play him older." Mm -hmm. I mean, that doesn't that that won't work. But oh, yeah. you can certainly play weary. You can play um, tired. You can play. Uh, you know where this is going, and you're trying to yeah. stop the trouble coming down okay. the road. And is the Hulk? Is most? You, you said you have some kids for the, the what are the the pickpocket gang? Yeah, are they all? Local kids, or they're not just college students, are they? Or oh no, they're they're uh, eight to oh, okay. eight so to like fourteen years old. Right. You look older when you with your with eight year old. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the rest of the cast is all students and crew and all. Uh, pretty much, we have um, we have an alum coming in to play the widow Corny, uh, so she's in her twenties. Uh, okay. But then we also have um, a local actor, Joe Phillips, who you saw in 1776. Okay. You mentioned earlier. Um, he is coming in to play um, 
uh, an older character who adopts Oliver at the end, oh, okay. of, the end of the show. All right, and then you've already started. Um, how long ago did you start rehearsals? Oh, about two weeks. Two weeks so ago. we spent a week doing music, and now we're doing choreography. Okay. Um, and then in uh, November, the, the the book will be dealt with, and we'll start oh, okay. staging the whole thing. So, um, AJ, have you been in musicals before? Yeah, okay. yeah, I uh, I've been in a couple with the program um, with Tiz, and I did a couple in high school. Um, this is my first time really. I would say playing a lead. Um, I've been focusing throughout my college work. I've been focusing more on, on acting and whatnot. Now, because okay. I'm not a musical theater major, I'm just a theater major. Okay. Um, but uh, this has been a wonderful opportunity to 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 stretch my horizons. Michael, how's he doing? Good. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing good. He's a natural for Fig. Oh, but is, did you say this is your first musical? No, it's not. Oh, okay. It's just my first time. I would say with a principal oh, okay. role. Okay. All right, so that sounds, and it's going to be, I have it right here, it's going to be December 4th through the 15th. The majority of performances are 10 in the morning because you have the students, but um, there are some. The website, it's um, theater.sage.edu, it'll have everything. Um, so that's coming up in December. Before we talk about what's upcoming, let me just, I was going to ask you one other thing. I guess I don't. What about... Um, after Oliver, we won't go into every single one, but why don't you just tell us about what's upcoming after that? You have Diary of Anne Frank. Diary of Anne Frank, right. Um, Wolves, which is a, um, a, about a, a girls play about soccer a team. girls' soccer team. Um, and then Benjamin Franklinstein Lives, which is an original musical based on uh, local author uh, Matt McGilligot and Larry Tuxbury's series of uh, Benjamin Franklinstein and Thomas Dedison and oh, okay. the Fright Brothers. Uh, you're getting the sort of gist here. It's sort of a <laughs> so. Are you do you gear most productions for the student audience or? Um, no, certainly Wolves is yeah. not. Um, and Frank uh, can well, that, be, yes, that um, but certainly uh, usually the holiday slot is yeah. uh, family friendly, and then that uh, uh, late spring, early summer slot is also usually so friendly. Wolves friendly was nominated for the Pulitzer Prize, I mm -hmm, think. Yeah. It was made a big splash. And, um, so some of the other things for non-students down at the Institute, you have all kinds of um, programs for kids and adults. You have Saturdays on stage, winters on stage, summer theater camp. Um, you have some stuff for adults. What are, what are some, and you have touring shows. What are, what are some of these yet other things you guys do as a... <laughs> Oh, uh, well, yeah, we, we, we sometimes have touring shows, so we go to schools or we go okay. to uh, different theaters. Uh, so we used to take a Stinky Cheese Man. Oh, okay. Um, we've taken that to New Jersey, to Vermont, and a bunch of local schools. Oh, okay. So we, we just sort of pack up the van and, <laughs> and go. Now, are the students <laughs> involved in those? Are you guys? Oh, totally students involved. Oh, okay. In those so things, all, yeah. all these um, other programs. The students are involved in. Yeah, the t students teach uh, Saturdays on stage. Oh. They teach in the summer uh, sessions as well. Yeah. Um, so it's a good it's a good uh, place for them to learn uh, how to teach their craft, mm -hmm. um, as opposed to just practicing their craft. And actually, when you're teaching, you yeah. learn more about yourself and you know how to articulate what you're yeah. what you're trying to trying to get out of yourself. You can it it uh, it's a good mirror. So AJ, have you been involved in some of these? Um, ancillary programs. I yeah, I do. Um, I do workshops every once in a while. I haven't. Uh, I, I don't do Saturdays on stage, and I haven't done the summer program. But mm -hmm. I uh, every once in a while, well, there'll be a there'll be a workshop that comes in with a with a school. They'll they'll stay for a day, and we'll teach them some stuff. And it like uh, very true. It, it it helps. It really is. A, it's a great learning experience because it really helps me learn how to, like you said, articulate and um, and refresh and uh, ba more basic skills so that I can. Uh, really str um, oh. fortify my foundation before I now, try to go further. Kids receptive to this? Do the kids like this kind of? Yeah, thing? sure. Yeah, I we have a school uh, with the Troy School that uh, we we go there about four times before a performance. Oh, okay. So we do an in-school residency. Then they come see the show. Um, we take them backstage. They travel around the theater a little bit. I know. Before we started, you were saying when you went to high school. You and where I went, they did a play every year, but there was no there was no classes or anything in, in no, theater. No, no, we did, never had anything like this. So yeah, really, I mean, our the predecessor NISTI was was a was a, a pioneer in this kind of. Uh, and that's the old days before this. Um, they were back at the egg from like the seventies. There were thirty something years, right? Yeah. And AJ, you said in your high school, 
-hmm. you had you actually had theater classes or oh we had yeah we had clubs we had um uh we, we would do about two shows a year we would do a, a, a um a, a straight play in the fall and then we would do a okay. musical in the spring and um, just pretty pretty average but it, w it was pretty fun we, we got to we got to do some fun stuff we did some original plays and we floated right. around so now what are your future plans after you're, you're graduating this May um yeah yes. 2020 mm -hmm. Um, so I, I'm mainly interested. Um, my, my my primary focus is on film work. Um, so I like I'm gonna probably stay in uh, the Hudson Valley area for a while and, and audition as just as much as I can for as many things as I can, okay. while I try and focus on paying off some student loans. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then after that, I'd like to see where I can take myself. Um, possibly the city. Uh, I was thinking about Chicago, yeah. things like that. There isn't just theater in New York City. So. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pinpointing anything just yet. And then, Michael, does what the students learn in the theater um, degree does that translate into film, or do, do you have classes in film? Uh, we don't have a film class at the moment. Uh, sometimes we have a, a special topics in that, but no. uh, not recently. I don't think we've done that. Well, one of the one of the privileges of this program is that students get to uh, run um, certain student run projects whenever they'd like. Um, so if we ask for help, uh, professors will be more than willing to um, supply us with uh, resources and whatnot to help us do something. And in the past, we've tried, uh, we've done. Um, Certain film projects, and we've we've worked certain things out, and uh, it's been it's been it's been an absolute pleasure. And then I noticed I was reading the biographies of some of your faculty. Besides Michael, you you have quite the crew down there. What is it like working with people who have, who have been, or I shouldn't say have been, they are professional actors? Oh, it's absolutely amazing. It's uh, the any time I have any type of question that um, doesn't necessarily pertain to what we're doing in theater or pertaining to do what we're doing you know, in class or whatnot, I can ask any random question. Most of them have an abundance of, of uh, resources and whatnot. They, they, even teachers that have worked here in the past that don't work here any, any longer still keep, keep in touch um, and, and whatnot. And they, they're very, very helpful all the time. And then, Michael, what is in the what is uh, in the future for the institute? Just carrying on what you've yeah <laughs> yes carry on. Mm -hmm. And how many? I, I think I, I can't remember if I asked this. How big is the, the how many students do you have in your department now? You said it was pretty uh, small. Uh, about thirty. Just about yeah, okay. and it, it floats between. Um, Musical theater majors, theater majors, and then uh, creative arts and therapy okay. majors, and other pe other majors that are um, even just uh, other students that just uh, are interested in the program that aren't necessarily within the major. So, what's more popular, the theater arts degree or the theater musical degree? I don't know. What are your cohorts? That's a great question. <laughs> I would say probably the musical theater major is a bit more popular. It it it. It fluctuates. Right, yeah. Sometimes most of the kids coming in this year were musical theater, mm -hmm. I think. Well, musicals, I would, the last, I don't know, five, seven, eight years, becoming very, very popular with um, younger people. It's yeah. really, really a big a big thing now, and there's more of it. There's um, not traveling shows, what, what do you call them? The touring. Tour, touring shows, <laughs> I <have> traveling shows. <laughs> All right, so. All right, so then Oliver, December 4th to the 15th, AJ's, Fagan, and Michael, you're directing the, you're the director and the director of the Institute, right? You're mm -hmm. executive director, so thanks for coming. Thanks for I having me. I can't wait to see this, because I, as you can tell, I love this play. So. Mm -hmm. And we will see you next time on Open Door for the Arts.